Hello everyone. So in this video, uh, we are going to discuss few problems, the gate questions from the topic amplitude modulation. So the given question is, consider a sinusoidal modulation in amplitude modulation system. Assuming no over modulation, the modulation index when a maximum and minimum values of the envelope respectively 3 voltage and 1 voltage. So we are asked to find here uh, the modulation index value what is a uh, mu when there is no over modulation. So the vo no over modulation means uh, the mu value is actually less than 1 and uh, there is no zero crossover. Under modulation curve can be drawn as so this is uh, the under modulation amplitude modulated wave so there is no crossover and this is what uh, so given in the question the maximum and uh, minimum values of envelopes so this is the envelope and the maximum value is of uh, 3 voltage and the minimum value is of 1 voltage and we have to calculate what is the modulation index. So in order to calculate the modulation index we can use a formula that is mu is equal to a maximum minus a minimum whole divided by a maximum plus a minimum. Uh, the amplitude modulated the maximum value is of uh, 3 voltage and the minimum value is of 1 voltage and 3 plus 1 is equal to so the modulation index value is of 0.5 and next question we have here is which of the following analog modulation scheme requires the minimum transmitted power and minimum channel bandwidth. So in such type of questions we have to uh, compare these uh, transmitted power and the channel being bandwidth of all modulation schemes. So from the beginning uh, very first modulation if we list out that amplitude modulation has uh, the bandwidth of 2 fm and there are three components we have in amplitude modulation wave. First is the uh, carrier frequency and uh, LSB and USB, two side bands. So all three terms are going to consume more power. So the next case under amplitude modulation we have DSB SC. So the suppressed carrier and this part is going to be suppressed in case of DSB SC. In this, uh, the required bandwidth is actually 2 fm because two side bands are coming and the power is somewhat reduced than the amplitude modulation. We say the amplitude modulation is the conventional uh, double side band full carrier and next given here is single side band. Single side band if we take the required bandwidth is of fm that is single we are going to so in single sideband we will be trans transmitting either the upper sideband otherwise the lower sideband. So required band if we send one sideband so the required bandwidth is of fm and obviously when the number of terms the frequency components in the transmitted wave is reduced so the power is also going to be reduced further and final type we can consider wastage uh, sideband that is here actually in wastage sideband we have a single sideband also a few portion of the other sideband is included that is actually of fv plus fm we can say so the required bandwidth of vsb modulation is fv plus fm and uh, the power is somewhat increasing than uh, the single sideband case so the comparing all the values obviously uh, the bandwidth of a single sideband is less and comparing all power ranges uh, the single sideband is consuming less power. So the answer for this question is 
single sideband is consuming less power and it requires less bandwidth and the next question is suppose that the modulating signal is m of t is equal to 2 cos 2 pi f m t so the model message signal is given and the carry signal x e is equal to a c cos 2 pi f c t so conventional amplitude modulation means uh, we have uh, the expression of a uh, conventional amplitude modulated case is uh, a c into 1 plus 1 plus k a m of t into cos omega c t. So, without over modulation means obviously the value of a modulation index mu is less than 1. So, we have to compare uh, this general equation and uh, this condition of the modulation index with all uh, options given here. While comparing the first option a c m of t cos 2 pi f c t, it seems like a, a double side band case and uh, looking at second equation and this equation uh, resembles the general equation and next one it is the expanded terms of uh, again uh, the general equation and uh, the equation 4 and the option 4 is of uh, 2 cos 2 pi f m t and f c t again so it does not actually resembling the original one so we can analyze these two equation so considering the option b so the value of m of t given here is 2 cos 2 pi f m t so writing this 1 plus 2 cos of 2 pi f m t into cos of 2 pi f c t. So, uh, again uh, this equation is actually written as a c into 1 plus mu cos omega m t that is uh, 2 pi f m t into cos 2 pi f c t. So, comparing this and this we have a modulation index value of 2. So, from the question it is given without over modulation and this condition is not satisfied. So, option B is not a 1. So, we can once again check the option C. Taking this uh, uh, carrier uh, term outside, this equation can be rewritten as a c into 1, 1 divided by 4. So, m of t given here is 2 into cos of 2 pi f m t, writing the m of t value cos of 2 pi f m t into cos 2 pi f c t. So, 2 divided by 4 is simplified as and write rewriting this equation as a c into 1 plus 0.5 m of t into cos 2 pi f c t. So, from this uh, we can find the mu value is 0.5. So, from the question it is clear that uh, for uh, the message signal and the carrier signal given the option C this modulation is of uh, conventional amplitude modulation satisfying the general term and without over modulation satisfying the condition mu is equal to 0.5. So, and the next question it is of uh, one more question. So, the message signal is given at the carrier frequency f c uh, which of the following represent single sideband signal. So, in single sideband of the frequency spectrum we either send the upper sideband or the lower sideband. So, looking at uh, the first option cos of 2 pi f m t and cos 2 pi f c t. So, this uh, option seems like a DSB 
suppressed carrier uh, there are uh, in dsb fm so in uh, conventional amplitude modulation there are uh, three component fm fc and uh, fc plus fm fc minus fm so this equation is of uh, suppressed fc and compressing these two frequency component so option a is not the answer and cos 2 pi fct so this is carrier frequency term so obviously it is not and third option so here it is given upper sideband uh, uh, component so and in fourth one 1 plus cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 it is like a conventional amplitude modulation so the correct answer is option c and uh, the final question we are going to see here it is actually two more question so the message signal m of t is given that is cos 2000 pi t plus 4 cos 4000 pi t so modulates the carriers so the carrier signal is given uh, where fc is equal to 1 megahertz to produce an amplitude modulated signal so fc value is given as 1 megahertz so for demodulating the generated amplitude modulated signal using an enveloped detector the time constant rc of the detector circuit should satisfy so the enveloped detector circuit is like uh, this one the diode uh, which is connected with the capacitance and the load resistance here uh, the input is amplitude modulated wave and here uh, the time constant is the load resistance and capacitance the time constant tau or lc is so based on this time constant uh, the envelope of the amplitude modulated wave is uh, tracked effectively so to demodulate uh, the generated amplitude modulated wave uh, at the receiver side using envelope detector the time constant the time constant value should be uh, greater than 1 upon fc and less than 1 upon fm so from uh, the equation uh, m of t is so omega m t is equal to 2000 pi t so 2 pi fm is equal to 2000 pi and pi by is getting reduced and fm is equal to 1000 which is of 1 kilohertz so the one component is of uh, 1 kilohertz and another component is of 4000 pi 2 pi fm so pi is getting reduced and it is 2 so fm is equal to 2 kilohertz so we have to consider the maximum frequency component and uh, analyzing this condition 1 upon fc is 1 megahertz that is of 1 into 10 to the power 6 or c less than 1 divided by 2 into 10 to the power 3 1 microsecond the time constant so the time constant value is in between 1 microsecond and 1 by 2 it is 0.5 millisecond so this is the correct answer and option b is the answer for given question thank you